Today we're going to be performing a health check on a hen to identify what's normal. This will provide a baseline to check your own hens against. It's always best to watch the birds as a flock, watch their behaviour. Are they bright and active? Are they interested and engaging in their environment? Moving around, pecking and foraging, interacting with other birds, gently vocalising. These are the signs of a healthy flock. To check over an individual bird, start by standing her on a flat, non-slip surface and have a helper hold the hen. Or you can do this on your own, aided by a towel. Check your hen from head to toe, starting with the head. The comb sits on top of the head. The size and shape varies, but generally it should be red and plump, which can also indicate that she's in lay. As you can see, this hen has a good comb. If the comb were pale but plump, it probably means that she's healthy but off lay. If it were dry, shriveled and flaky, it can indicate poor health. Next, check her eyes. There should be no discharge, redness or swelling. The eyes should be clear and bright. Hens have ears but they're well hidden behind a small flap of dense feathering. Gently lifting the flap will allow you to see the ear canal, which should be a nice, clean, round hole with no debris or discharge. Check the beak. In commercial birds, the tip is often blunted, but there will be a point on non-beak trimmed birds. Gently open the beak, but do not force it. If you can manage to open it a little, pop a finger in to wedge it open. Most birds resent this, but it will allow you to see the coena, the slit in the roof of the mouth. This should be open and clean, although food sometimes gets wedged. The mouth should be pink and without blemishes. The crop is your hen's shopping basket. When a hen eats, the food is temporarily held here, where it's softened before moving along to the gizzard where the food is ground down. It's situated here. It's at the bottom of the neck and slightly to the right. The crop should usually be empty in the morning and will fill during the day. Hens usually go to bed with food in the crop to digest overnight. It should be neither too packed solid of food nor full of fluid. If the crop is large and very hard or squishy or not reducing throughout the day, this may indicate a problem. The keel bone runs down the centre of the bird and should be well padded with flesh either side. If it protrudes, it can indicate your hen is a little underweight. Don't be fooled by a nice set of feathers. They can easily disguise a thin bird. If you are able to, you should ideally weigh your hens regularly to identify if they are losing or gaining weight. But the more you handle them, you learn what feels like an appropriate weight. This hen weighs 1.8 kilograms, which is within the normal average range for an adult hybrid hen. But weight will vary with different breeds. At the base of the tail, there's a small nodule that is often mistaken for a wart. This is a perfectly natural part of your hen's anatomy. It's the uropygeal gland or preen gland. It's important for spreading oils through your hen's feathers as she preens. It's important to check your hen's feathering for any unwanted guests. Part of the feathers at the base of the neck, under the wings, and the base of the tail to check for any signs of moving parasites. Any hard clumps of material around the base of the feather shaft should be a red flag. Also check the vent too. Red mites do not live on the bird, but in heavy infestations, you may feel them crawling on you after handling the birds or cleaning the coop. Next, feel her abdomen. It should be rounded and soft and not unusually large. A swollen or hard abdomen or a large, soft, fluid-filled abdomen often cause the hen to stand with her legs apart. That can be a sign that something's not quite right and a visit to your vet is indicated. Let's turn her around and look at the vent. This is where the eggs and the faeces come out of. The vent should be clean with no soiled feathering or discharge. The vent is an elongated slot. If you place your fingers either side of the vent around two and 10 o'clock, there's two bones, pin bones. The space between the bones is wider if the bird is in lay. So in a standard sized hen, around 2.5 to three fingers distance is a good indicator that the pelvis is open and wide enough to pass an egg. As a rough guide, the gap should be as wide as the egg laid by the bird. There are two types of droppings, faecal, which should be a nice brown form dropping with a white cap, and cecal, which is a smelly, wet, usually caramel coloured dropping. This is completely normal. There should be roughly eight to 10 faecal to one cecal dropping. The scales on your hen's legs should be smooth and even. The scales can appear thickened or raised in older birds, but more commonly it can indicate scaly leg mite. 
A hen should be alert, curious and chatty. Observing your hen's demeanour every day will help you to spot changes in their behaviour. A quiet, fluffed up hen removed from the flock is usually a sign of a poorly hen.